Hello everyone! Today, we're going to learn about verbs, specifically regular and irregular verbs. Verbs are words that show actions like running, eating, or playing. In this lesson, we will explore how these action words change when we talk about the past. We'll look at regular verbs which follow a simple rule and irregular verbs which do not follow the same rules. By the end of our lesson, you'll be able to identify and use regular and irregular verbs correctly in your sentences. Let's get started. Regular verbs are verbs that follow a simple pattern when we talk about actions in the past. They form their past tense by adding ed to the base form of the verb. For example, the verb walk becomes walked, jump becomes jumped, and play becomes played. This rule makes it easy to remember how to form the past tense of regular verbs. Here are some more examples of regular verbs. When you add ed to the end of these verbs, you get the past tense. For example, talk becomes talked, laugh becomes laughed, cook becomes cooked. See how they all follow the same pattern by adding ed? That's what makes them regular verbs. Irregular verbs are a bit different. They don't follow the same pattern as regular verbs. Instead of adding ed, they change in different ways when we talk about the past. For example, the verb go changes to went, eat changes to ate, and write changes to wrote. Each irregular verb has its own unique way of changing, which is why they can be trickier to remember. Let's look at more examples of irregular verbs. Notice how each verb changes differently when we use them in the past tense. Buy becomes bought. See becomes saw. Drink becomes drank. These verbs don't add ed like regular verbs. Instead, they change in their own special ways. Let's compare regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs follow the simple rule of adding ed, like talk to talked. Irregular verbs, however, don't follow this rule. They change in their own way, like see to saw, understanding the difference between regular and irregular verbs helps us use them correctly when we speak or write about things that happened in the past. Now let's practice. I'll say a verb and you tell me if it's regular or irregular. First, dance. Is it regular or irregular? Irregular. Next, run. Regular or irregular? Irregular. How about jump? Irregular. And speak. Remember, regular verbs add ed, while irregular verbs change in different ways. Let's see how regular and irregular verbs look in sentences. She walked to school yesterday. Here, walk is a regular verb because we added ed. He went to the store. Go changes to went, making it irregular. They played soccer after school. Play is regular because it adds ed. I ate breakfast this morning. Eat changes to ate, so it's irregular. Let's talk about some common mistakes. Be careful not to add ed to irregular verbs. For example, go, ed, 
isn't correct. It should be went. Remember, not all verbs fit the regular ED pattern. Practice will help you remember which verbs are irregular and how they change. Let's review what we've learned today. Regular verbs add ED to show the past like play to played. Irregular verbs change in unique ways like swim to swam. Now, let's put into practice. Look around you or think of your favorite activities. Write down three regular verbs and three irregular verbs and use them in sentences. This will help you remember the rules and use verbs correctly in your writing. <laughs>